waiting for everybody to get in position. They're all kind of bottlenecked at the moment, pushing around, and Shadowburn just says thank you very much. Six players in one spot. That is oh an absolute God. dream as he carves his way through Germany. They have to go in, and they have to make this work, because the longer they wait, the closer the five volts come out to Thailand. Here we go. All right, Nano boost onto a Puno. He's oh going to get a oh, The machine gun doing work, and then the flashbang for the kill on a Colbat. That was brutal. Goodbye. Far away, you know. This might backfire on them. Gets a little knock away. The shield manages to keep them sound. Gets around the side. Gets a little flanker route. Now the barrage is ready and waiting to go. He's going to back himself away and just blast it in the face of Jam Lee. No chance there. And that will be Thailand keeping them at bay. Yeah, that's a panic button from NZNR. He's like, <laughs> no, nope, need to deal with that McCree now. But hey, he got more than he bargained for there. If USA is able to take one more round here on Li Zhang Tower. Whee! Now, whoa, space jumping. There you go. And get onto the enemy bridge, just trying to force the side of Finland to that lower ground. And for now, Chinese Taipei is being pushed back a bit. You take a look at Finland, they're not running the defensive Winston where they're going super deep with it, but they're laying in good poke damage. Taimu able to take down Baby. It's two quick kills, but the hook comes in, and Taimu getting saved by the Zarya Shield and the Sleep Dart just rolls forward, and this will be a full wipe here for the side of Finland. You know, a lot of the times, like, you know, you see, like, we watch a McCree play and they're just putting down some shots at range. This is the complete opposite time of defensive setup that USA is going. I would run a Winston immediately just because it's like this is but here we go. Next one underway. That Dragon Blade is going to be coming out at Seagull. Going to the back. Picks up one. Looking for more. Going to be a double kill for Seagull. Just no answer from Chile as he picks up the third. The Finland team the other day. Let's get to know them a little bit better. I mean, this is what time offers here on the McCree, and wow. I really just thought that this, uh, this this was one of the keys for Finland and how they can win this matchup versus South Korea. Taimu and DPS bring something that very few DPS players do, where even when the odds are against you and you should be losing a team fight, the longer they take, the more chances Alpix is going to get a good teleporter up and allow Thailand to easily reinforce in these fights. YJP, old school style. If Farrah goes into the back line and just throws rockets into the corner, hoping to splash and catch someone out here. He's in a decent position, but needs a little bit of healing from the arrow. You can see that Nyvik is supplying that. And now, the splash damage inside the Elkworth Hotel, YGP going to get a lot of damage from this position, and the barrage is available. They've been kept away from the point, they've already got the first mark, it comes around the back, catches it off, oh, oh, there's the barrage, gets himself a quick triple, and oh, that is yeah. absolutely going to be the payload, captured, no doubt about that one. Even though he's well known for playing McCree, he can be an absolutely dangerous Widowmaker. I know he was talking to me just the other day about how he loves using it to win games in comp mode, and right now, he's just going in over the top, looking for early pickoffs, and he takes out Shurpur, there is no better pickoff than that. Oh, and he's going to put a lot of damage on to poke and oh another kill there for Mighty DQD. Nice shots there as they stack it out. They're already sticking happening around the back while this might happen. Mickey goes in, gets it double triple, make it five! And Mickey goes huge! China get decimated! Waiting to go. He's gonna drop down oh, and quickly God. deflects it back in Icefeld's face. Thank you very much. That's an easy kill. And now that's a problem for Germany because they lose one of their key damage dealers. And now the Dragon Blade is off. He goes in, he finds Ruster. Can he get himself a second? Finds RTA, goes in looking for internet. Hulk takes him down. And Skipjack, the final man standing, takes a shuriken to the forehead. And down he goes. And here comes Spain. Time for the dead eye. Let's we'll see what he can get with it. Takes out Edu. Gonna come here and see. Grab a little bit more. Wow, gets one and Sandy's Harry look really doing awesome. Honestly, been free. Two already. Pescanova grabs one for himself with that sound barrier. The kill though in the end. And France started off okay, but now Mickey coming back. This Zarya has really been making the difference. But can it make Jeez. enough of a difference right now? Wow. I think it can. That's three already that he's been able to pick up. Going for D-Gun. That, uh, that Genji is not going to last. Wow, Mickey just carried them so hard right there. They he really did. did. Let's see. Fights on the defensive, but they're just gonna walk right in. All right, with a kill already. Miro getting aggressive on the Winston, too. And Jay Home taking the high ground on the side, more or less untouched. Miro jumping out to the point at half health, but he's getting support. And with Zumba and Arn getting those kills already, things are looking pretty good for South Korea. Getting a bit of time on the point already. Miro has that primal rage, and he's gonna jump right to spawn to try to make sure nobody gets oh back. My. What are you gonna do when Miro's in your face already? Well, the answer is going to be not much. And South Korea going to take Temple of Anubis right here. 7.05 left on the clock. That was uh, 55 seconds. You're not going to be allowed to go any further. You will not pass. 
Will the pass make Mount certainly will. He goes in, gets himself the full death blossom off, gets himself a double kill in there. A Motu though on the Genji, gets himself a quick triple, and this is disastrous for China. Suddenly they lose everything. Everybody double stacked in now. I think it was a double graviton surge on top of each other. Tell Light Watch if he's still got it. He's in there. It's Thailand that pulled it out, and they are going to capture out this first point. Yeah, Opry Tony as well. His cleanup crew, that's pretty much what's needed now. It's a desperation graviton surge. Counter Blizzard from China. Is that going to be enough? The spawns come out, they force them off the point, and just with a fraction to go, it looks like Thailand might well have just been cleared off the point. Jamli in there, but a Potu got drowned, he gets himself a dragon play, gets himself the second, can he clear the whole team off? That's going to be it though, Thailand finally take it away. What they're looking for, if they could convert, it would be huge. Yeah, and it's going to be Zonda using his ultimate on Hanzo, he's able to get one with it, they're going to be able to survive. Got me! the Blizzard as well. So you see Danny putting down a lot of damage here. It's Pungay. So China are wasting ults and using them in not optimal scenarios because Obito is finding the right targets to pick out. Oh, that's a good Graviton surge, but it's back, answered back and forth. Oh, well, look at that! Chamley gets himself boosted up in the air and gets himself a quick Deadite. A instant kill onto Internet Hulk right there at the top, and then the cleanup right afterwards, just nailing all of the dashes. Just a few seconds on the Shadow Burn, and there it is. You saw that play. Mountain that happened. It's going to be Shadow Burn, though. Stuck inside the Graviton, dashes straight through. He's able to get two, trying to hunt down one more. Adam just trying to stay alive. Not going to be enough. Shadow Burn dives through another one, has gods up top. Shadow Burn just absolutely going crazy here, diving through USA, trying to secure the group for Russia. And that was beautiful from Shadow Burn. What a way to end this round. I do want to say, I think I hate Katie. Definitely a standout gotcha, player bitch. for Australia. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's a clump up around that payload. He's just going to drop down and drop the hammer. And there it is. The Graviton Surge is answered, though. He manages to throw it out there, try and catch him in a loop. But there's a lot of biotic grenades going out. There's going to be Rubicon finally starting to get through. And Shadow Burn is once again let loose with his Dragon Blade. Shadow Burn, he's going to have that. Shadow Blade, and here we go. Goes straight on. Shadow Blade, I'm calling it. You know what? I'm just going to name it after him, after the player, because just locking it. One, two, three, job done. Russia going to be taking Hannah Moore with ease here. There's nothing they can do. Very quickly. But that requires things working the way they should and execution being on point. Oh, hello. NZ and R throwing out the Blizzard very early on and catching them perfectly there. Shamley and Meng Mao absolutely frozen in time. But Poti picks himself up two easy kills. Got to stay hitting a bit better. Nano boost on the Zarya. Decon drops down the Blizzard, and with that Zarya, that's a lot of damage onto Singapore. And there's the red. Is stopped in. It is. Uh, oh, I don't think the it's gonna res work. crew gets two immediately. Was channeling the Dead Eye during the res animation, and that's gonna be it. So they knew oh, yeah. the res was up. It had been up for a long time. Um, you had used it, and France was ready. Yeah, people trying to stream in, keep that overtime going, but it does look like Singapore is going to be able to take this first point. France. For respawn advantage, you can slowly wear down the defense. So for the US, they pick up another kill here and they get away. Not the biggest deal is, oh my goodness, that hook not exactly doing what is regarded. Seagull going to get away with one there. Behind him up there, that was an incredible play also, uh, disrupting the Zarya and the Elna. Yeah, I mean, look, uh, you're right. And there were some places where I mean, this is just BM from Region Home as well. He's going to fall. Then he's going to drop on Bashes. Just will go. Inside the point, alive. Any boss drops there. Inside the point. That's retarded. They're like, I don't know. It's like it's like playing against bots. You, they don't do mistakes. It's it's really fun to play too. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to take your mic here real quick. So I think my mic did die. reactions. Is there any other teams out there you're looking for as being like an, a good opponent for you to guys match up against? Subscribe for more dank Overwatch videos. Tee.